Hi, I'm Eric Friedman. I'm Mark Tremonti. And I'm Wolf Van Halen. And we are Tremonti. Welcome to Linea Rock, Thank guys, you. and welcome back to Italy for you, Mark, especially because you come here very often. So Absolutely. it's great to have you back. And also for you, Eric and Wolfie, <laughs> welcome to Italy. Thank you. Okay, so um, Mark, first question for you. Um, you were born in Detroit Rock City. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So where you approached uh, the guitar uh, very young, 11 years old. Mm -hmm. um, what do you remember of those old days? Does they seem very far away? <laughs> and um, I read that something went wrong with your first guitar teacher that you decided to become self-taught after quite a few lessons. Is that correct? Just one. Well, my sec <laughs> after my second lesson when he promised to teach me Metallica and he didn't I quit <laughs> okay. um, you know I took a guitar lesson in Detroit and uh, they made me buy the you know the uh, Mel Bay 101 or whatever it is and tried to teach me twinkle twinkle little star or something of that nature and uh, I just wasn't interested and um, I wanted to get right into what I was passionate about and he wasn't ready to teach me that so I decided to just buy books and be a songwriter and Try and do it myself. Okay. And how was it for you, Wolfgang? Um, I mean, I, I I think that it's not very easy to have your surname, which is very <laughs> it's a mighty one. So I, I'm sure that you, Wolfgang, um, were like, did you you grew up with milk yeah. and music in your family? So yeah. uh, how did you? Uh, what do you remember? I mean, of your first approach with the bass and the guitar, I guess. Well, I started playing drums when I was nine, okay. and then uh, went to guitar when I was 12, and then bass when I was 15. So, just kind of started monopolizing <laughs> on everything, just kind of taking everything over. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, did you choose to do that, or uh, yeah, just, simply came, I mean... Yeah, most people think that, you know, my dad would have pushed me into it, but I just kind of, I loved sitting on my, my uncle's drum kit okay. and just banging away, and then... Uh, for my uh, ninth birthday, my dad got me a, a drum set, and I just didn't turn back. <laughs> uh, it's it's quite strange that you decided on your solo album to have uh, uh, another guitar player. It's a, actually a particular choice. Usually, you know, when huge guitar players decide to go solo, they want to do everything by themselves and express themselves totally. So why this choice? Um, well, I, I, my solo record wasn't all about getting up there and playing guitar. And my, my, what I put most of my time into is songwriting, and this was supposed to be a solo record that got out the song ideas that I wanted to get out the most, um, the melodies first and foremost that I, that I loved. And then, you know, a distant third or fourth uh, place of priority would be the guitar playing. Okay. Did you ever decide to make it an instrumental album? Did you ever think about it? No, I no. mean it's uh, a solo record should be what you're all about, and, and I'm not really all about sitting and playing instrumentals. You know, I love vocals. Yeah. yeah. Was this your first time performing as a lead singer? Um, well, I've sang backups forever, and, and I took some lead parts in the last Alter Bridge record, okay. but this is my first time as a frontman singing. How is it? It's great. I, I, it seemed very natural to me to do it. I loved yeah. it. it. It was never uh, something where I felt awkward out there. And uh, were Scott and Miles any influence for you doing your own lead vocal thing? And uh, do you expect them more now that you you I mean you're also performing as a frontman, which well, is very different, I guess. Well, I try to do my own thing. You know, I don't want to cop their routines on stage and start doing what Miles or Scott does on stage because that would be kind of corny of me. So I try and come up with my own things and. Uh, um, try to not sound like them vocally, do my own, have my own sound. Okay. How did you, Wolfgang, get, get in contact with Mark? How did it happen? And did you immediately say, yes, I'm in? <laughs> uh, he, he called me uh, the night before the first show, and I, okay. I happened to be in New Jersey with oh. my friend Morgan from Seven Dust. Uh, and uh, yeah, he called me and he goes, you know, Brian dropped out. Can you be a part of this? And I was like, I'll call you back. <laughs> and uh, you know, I just I just did some thinking, and I figured that you know I love the record, I love E Rock and Garrett and Mark, and so I was like, yeah. And they were an hour away, so it just ended up being perfect. 
Wow, so you had not much time to yeah, learn we, the we, songs. Yeah, we played, we played every song once and okay. had a show the next day. Wow. <laughs> Okay, that's Van Halen blood. <laughs> it is okay. And um, how different is the experience for you, uh, Mark, um, compared to you know Creed and Alterbridge this time going solo? You feel much more responsibility, or maybe more freedom? How is it for you? Uh, well, with my name attached to it, I feel you know more pressure that um, it's much more personal for me. Um, but all the, I mean, all the bands are very personal for me. But it's um, it's more aggressive than all the other bands I've been in, and uh, just trying to do something different, not just keep doing the same thing year after year. And, and uh, singing has a big part to that, but also the style and the direction the band's taken. Yeah. And do you think that this? You said that this is more aggressive. The the riffs are very heavy this mm -hmm. time. That's no good vocal melodies, but the heavy riffs is the thing that comes first. Uh, do you think that uh, it's not like a case that in this band you are more aggressive? Is there any special reason why you decided to express yourself this way? Um, well, this, I mean, this is the first time I've had uh, uh, a band backing me up that, that are very comfortable with doing the heavy metal thing, okay. doing the speed metal thing and doing the more progressive thing. The other guys like more classic hard rock, and uh, they like heavy stuff too. But as far as like the horse gallops and the, you know, just the thrash kind of approach, um, that was never really their thing. So this with this band, I kind of felt like there was uh, no limitations at all, and just to uh, go in the direction that I wasn't able to go in before. And are these all brand new songs, or there's some material that you had in the can from um, you know, past sessions? Wish you well, right? A lot of them were, most of them were, have been sitting around for, for a long time. Okay. A lot of ideas that I've tried with both other bands um, that just didn't work. And was this the main reason why you decided, I mean, it was such good material that you decided, yes, uh, I want to make it, you know, by myself, or it simply happened that you decided to make a solo record and then you picked the songs? Uh, well, I saw that I had three months off when Miles was out touring with Slash. Yeah. And I figured that would be a good time to kind of tie up loose ends with all these ideas that I've like, that I've never seen the light of day and, and put them on a solo album. Um, the fact of having Michael Elvis Pasquette as a producer and um, having Brian on bass um, could have been maybe a risk to make it, you know, too Alter Bridge to Creed, I mean the sound, did you ever think about it or? Uh... Um, well Brian was never going to be a part of the band from the get-go, um, we can't even legally contractually have okay. him be a part of the band. Um, as far as Elvis, he's just a great producer, you know what you're going to get is going to be do excellent. Anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he's not going to make it sound like Alter Bridge, he's just going to make it sound good. So if good is something that you want to stay away from, then that's, I would think that would be a good decision to let's make it sound bad so it doesn't sound like all the <laughs> You know, I want it to sound as good as possible, so we went with Elvis. Okay, so Brian was, uh, was about to do the tour, but it didn't happen. Do you yeah. want to comment on that? I mean, can it's you It's all his personal oh, okay. since I can't disclose them, yeah. All right, <laughs> all right. But nothing bad. Nothing, nothing bad, we love Brian, yeah, yeah no, no, we, nothing yeah. bad at all. It's all okay. his personal yeah. Um Let's see, um, for you, Wolf, um, this is your first tour uh, without your dad. Uh, how do you feel about it? And uh, is he happy that you're doing oh, this? Oh yeah, thing? he's he, he's actually. When I told Mark I'd call him back, I called my dad and, and asked him and okay. asked, asked what he thought. And he's like, yeah, do it. It'll be awesome, you know. And he was right. This was so great, and I hope that we can keep doing this whenever I'm not part of any. Yeah. Okay. And how is your dad now? He's, he's okay? He's doing really good. Yeah. He's doing it's, good? It's just a long, drawn-out recovery from his surgery, so... Okay. So you're going to tour with uh, Mark for the next few weeks or uh, no, actually, months? No, today is, is, the, is the last, last day. European. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I thought that maybe there was more uh, we overseas. We okay. We come back. In Europe? Yeah, mm -hmm. February. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's no Van Halen plans at the moment? Nothing till, till mid next year. Okay. So my, my schedule's pretty open. Mark, we can consider All I Was an autobiographical record because of the title and um, you know some songs like Things I've Seen or New Way Out. 
do, do you feel, do you approach it, did you approach it like that, in a sense? You already said that you're putting all yourself into it, but... Um, no, lyric, lyrically, it, not because it was a solo record or anything, it was just, um, I, I don't know how to write lyrics outside of just okay. speaking the truth of what kind of you've, you've uh -huh. worked through. Um, I'm not some poet that talks about, uh, you know, things that aren't true to, to what I've experienced before. Okay, so what, was it difficult uh, for you to work on the songs, M maybe more than in the past, this time, or...? Um, well, the, the hardest, the biggest challenge was to do 100% of the lyrics because a lot of times yeah. I'll, I'll start lyrics and write melodies and then uh, Miles or Scott will finish the lyrics. And, um, Considered Mark one of the most influential guitar players uh, of the new generation and uh, uh, also um, Guitar World define you like one of the best ever in metal and total guitar as well. Being a self taught guitarist, is that, I mean, that makes you very proud and did you expect that? I think being a self taught guitar player gives you your own identity. Um, my biggest compliment I receive is when somebody says, when, when I hear you play, I can tell it's you. You have your own identity on the guitar. Yeah. And um, a lot of great guitar players sound like their guitar teachers, and they sound like their guitar idols. And, and, uh, because I didn't learn a lot of other people's stuff, I was a songwriter for probably 10 years when I first picked up the guitar. I think I found my own sound. And, and um, going back, I wouldn't suggest somebody else do that um, if they want to get good quick, because it's not any way of getting good quick. Yeah. But uh, I'm glad I did it. And what's next for Creed and Alter Bridge? The next step after this tour, we go on a Creed tour. Yep. And then um, I get together with Miles in December to write the next Alter Bridge album. Okay. Yeah. Which is your priority at the moment? Stream multi, Creed or Very, very last thing. You, your family comes from Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember which part? Northern and, Italy. Okay, northern. Uh, you mean on the mountains, the, mountains, the Alps? Yes. Oh, okay. And is, uh, I mean, you've been in our country even when you were a little boy? No, no. Never. First time here is probably five, six, maybe even seven years ago. Now. Okay. Yeah. And what do you feel? It's very Italian in yourself. Uh, my name. Okay. <laughs> okay. Means three mountains where I'm from. Right. Like, in the mountainous uh, region of your country. Um, definitely not my skin tone because I'm pale as hell and everybody here's kind of got that golden yeah. tan thing going on. But um, I don't know, maybe maybe uh, my love for the arts. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, thanks guys and Thank we hope to have you back soon. Thank you so Thank much. You so much.